Hey guys, it's Tanya, and today I'm going to teach you all about PicMonkey overlays. Overlays are like stickers or clip art. You can use them to enhance photos or as building blocks for your design. In this video, we'll cover basic overlay controls, how to use blend modes with overlays, how to erase parts of an overlay, how to add your own overlay, and how to replace a template image with your own overlay. Let's get started with basic overlay controls. You can find overlays in the Overlay tab of the PicMonkey Editor, the one with the butterfly icon. They're grouped by their content, and if you click the carrot while holding the Option key on your keyboard, you'll be able to see all the different sections at once. Today I'm making a pregnancy announcement, so I'm going to head to the Baby Overlay group. To add an overlay to my canvas, I just have to click the overlay that I want and it'll appear. To reposition your overlays so they're where you want them, just click and drag them into place. To resize your overlay, just click it so that you can see its edges, and then pull on the corner handles to resize. You can even just pull on the sides. Each overlay will automatically keep its aspect ratio, so you don't need to worry about stretching it. If you did want to stretch it, just hold down the shift key while you pull on the overlay with your mouse. This lets you manipulate the aspect ratio. If you ever want to go back to the overlay's original shape, just right click it and select original aspect ratio. Now if you want to adjust how your overlays are layered, just head into the Layers palette. I'm going to use the arrows to bring the We're Expecting overlay to the front. I can select the balloons right from the palette and send them all the way to the back. If I want to, I can also flip the overlays horizontally and vertically by clicking the flip buttons in the overlay palette. There are three different types of colored overlays. The first are single colored overlays, like We're Expecting. To change their colors, you can either use the color spectrum in the overlay palette to scroll through shades, select the eyedropper by clicking the color bar and picking a color from anywhere in the PicMonkey editor, or you can enter a hex code if you know exactly what color you want. Some overlays, like the balloons, have two colors. You can change both colors from the overlay palette by selecting the color you want to change. Each color has the option of becoming transparent, which is useful in some overlays where you just want to have an outline. You can use the color grid like you would the color spectrum to preview different colors, or you can enter a hex code or use the eyedropper. The controls in the second color are exactly the same. The third kind of overlay has more than two colors and works on a gradient. When you pull the color spectrum for the bear, all the colors shift together. You can use the slider underneath the color spectrum to darken or lighten the tone. Now we'll look at how to use blend modes with overlays. For this image, I'm going to start out with a simple geometric overlay. I already know what color I want, so I'm just going to type in the hex code. Every overlay has a fade slider that allows you to adjust its transparency. But for this overlay, I'm just going to use a blend mode. Blend modes affect the way that the overlay interacts with the image behind it. Depending on the color of your overlay and the color of the image, blend modes could look different each time you use them. So I would suggest scrolling through them to preview what they look like. For this one, I'll go with Multiply, which adds darkness to my image. Now I'm just going to quickly add some text to this design. It's easy to layer text over an overlay, because you can also control text in the Layers palette. I want to make a shadow effect with this overlay, so I'm going to duplicate it by right-clicking it. The changes I made to the original will be exactly the same in the duplicate. I'll just change the color and scroll through the blend modes again to create a different look. Nice! Now I'm going to show you how to erase part of an overlay. For this image, I'm going to make a border by starting with a label overlay. To create a border, I'm going to make the inside color transparent. Now I'm just going to resize it and stretch the bottom slightly by holding the shift key so that it's centered. To start erasing, I'm going to zoom in and click the eraser tab in the overlay palette. Now I can use the eraser to take off the part of the overlay that I don't want. To paint it back on, I'll just click the paintbrush icon. I can always adjust the brush size and hardness sliders for more precision. Now I'm going to quickly speed through the rest of this erasing. And to finish it off, I'll just add another overlay. In addition to using PicMonkey's overlays, you can also add your own overlays to a design. These overlays can be graphic, like a logo, or photos that you're incorporating into a design. To add your own overlay, click the Add Your Own button at the top of the Overlay tab. You can bring overlays in from your computer, Hub, Facebook, and any other accounts you have connected to PicMonkey. The logo I made is stored in Hub, so that's where I'm opening it from. Now I can resize and edit the overlay, just like I can any other overlay. 
I'm going to use this one as a watermark, so I'm going to fade it way down. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to use your own overlays with templates. If a template has an image in it, that image will behave like your own overlays. These images will be labeled image in the layers palette. I want to replace this image with one of my own images, so I'm going to right click it and select replace from hub. You can also get your own image from your computer and any other photo storage account that you have connected to PicMonkey. If I hold down the Alt or Option key while I pull on the image, I can choose which part of it I want to show within the bounding box. And if I hold the Alt or Option key while pulling on the corner handles, I can recrop the image without stretching it. Thanks for watching! And as always, tag your creations with the hashtag PicMonkey.